Everyone, we're in the greenhouse today, and this is gonna be probably the last fig tasting of the year, 2018. Um, got a real special variety, it's uh, Black Madeira. Two different Black Madeiras, one from UC Davis, one from KK, and you know, I only have trees in the greenhouse. Either one, because uh, Black Madeira still has quite a bit of fruits on it, it's also fully lignified, so I don't have to worry about this one getting hit with uh, too many frosts. I'd rather have it in here and ripen the remaining fruit. It's also in a lighter pot that I can easier uh, make. It's easier for me to move it, you know, but the majority of the ones in here are of varieties that the growth on the tree is just too green. Um, you know, it's warmer in here, so things are uh, going to continue to grow for probably another week or so but once the nighttime temperatures uh, stay consistently low um, I'm not going to heat this greenhouse I'm just going to use this greenhouse to prevent frost hitting these really delicate branches here so that's what we've done in here is we've just put the more sensitive plants in here or the trees that uh, are still ripening fruit like black madeira uc davis so let's pick this one and uh it's a real beautiful beautiful fruit i'm going to put you guys down now it's a nice comparison because we have both both here uc davis that i'm about to show you guys and the kk version here is the UC Davis version it's uh, leaking lots of honey at the eye or certainly I'm not at the eye I'm sorry at the side here and in the bag there's tons of honey here you can see that maybe in the bag yeah so that's really good very sweet the uh, the heat the extra heat during the day has helped ripen this fig I, I maybe could have let it go even longer but you can see the ants are crawling on it. This may be the only, I'm not kidding, this is probably the only good black Madeira I've eaten all year. And I've probably potentially could have eaten 60 at least. So um, one out of 60 for someone here in, uh, in Pennsylvania. We also have the KK version which has been outside and uh, of course this one split as well you know it's kind of what goes on with these guys is that they are very prone to splitting especially in this wet year that we've had this is an unusually wet September but there are parts of this fig which probably are decent it may not even be worth eating now that I'm looking at it give it a little smell you know it's it's okay Not much flavor to speak of. And you know, it's just the simple fact that it's it's too cold. When the temperatures drop, they really need to ripen longer. Um, you know, if you have a fig that ripens in five days from swelling, in this cold, it may take 15. You know, even in the greenhouse, this black Madeira took quite some time. Let me open it up for you guys. So you can see the inside here, it's beautiful. Um, still, it's it could have went longer, um, but you know what? I'm sure it's going to be great. Mmm. It's probably the last really good fig of the year. Quite good. You can tell it's pretty good. The skin has a nice quality to it as well. Um, you know, you could tell it's a decently, it's of decent quality. So, very happy I've been able to ripen this with the use of my greenhouse. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have gotten any this year. Just the amount of rain that was in September. These guys directly ripened in the same time as the rain. 
very unfortunate year. But like I said, a lot of them split. And um, I guess the nicer thing about Black Madeira, KK, and UC Davis is that there's still figs on the tree. So for someone in a, you know, a longer season climate that doesn't need a greenhouse to ripen this fig properly, it's spread out in a further window, whereas my Italian 258 I've mentioned in previous videos I'm talking about these. It's a shorter season, shorter window, and that way it ripens its its full crop for me. But I still have black Madeiras here on the tree. So anyway, guys, that is the video. That's uh, black Madeira KK and UC Davis, I guess. You know, not the uh, greatest representation of KK, but it is what it is. So thank you all for watching. Um, yeah. This is the last fig review of the year. So talk to y'all soon and uh, more to come on these fig trees, guys, that I have here in the greenhouse and what will become of them. All right. Talk to y'all later.